Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new video and today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be doing another all day wear test of another new drugstore foundation. Today I'm going to be testing out the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. And guys, I'm super excited to be trying this out because I don't know if you guys remember the like original Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued now, but that used to be my jam in high school. Like, I'm pretty sure I still have videos on my channel of me doing like my prom makeup using that foundation. And the sad part is, is that I was digging through my makeup drawers and I still have this foundation in my drawer. Like, I definitely need to go through a purge, but I don't know if you guys remember this bottle. This was like the stuff on YouTube. I remember like YouTubers would use this one all the time. Also the Revlon Color Stay, which I know they still carry that, but I think it's time I throw this away. And to be honest, why did I ever own a foundation this dark? Like what? So I'm gonna go on to like the Ulta website and like see what this foundation is about. I've honestly haven't seen any reviews yet on this foundation, so I'm excited to be testing it out for you guys and letting you guys know you know, about another hopefully good drugstore foundation. All right, so on the Ulta website, just as an anti-pollution foundation, it is skincare inspired foundation that's ultra blendable, ultra buildable, and infused with antioxidants and anti-pollution and anti-blue light ingredients. It doesn't have any oils, parabens, phthalates, I don't know how to say that, synthetic dyes and fragrances. So that's really nice. It's a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer, then blends invisibly to even the skin tone. It's weightless. It has 31 shades, premium pump packaging, medium buildable coverage, natural finish, and keeps skin moisturized all day. So it doesn't really say what skin types it's for. It is oil free, but it is more of like a moisturizing foundation. So I assume this would be for more like normal to drier skin types. I'm personally like right in the middle. I get very shiny in my T-zone, but I'm pretty normal to dry in this region here. So I'm gonna test it out for you guys, let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. I believe this foundation, I picked it up from my local Walmart for a whopping like $8. I think it was like $7.97. So it is very affordable. You get 0.75 ounces though, instead of the full one ounce and since it's a medium coverage I'm sure you'd be using like more of it if you wanted to get more coverage out of it so something to keep in mind it is on the cheaper spectrum of like drugstore foundations but you don't get as much product and yeah I think it's really cool that it's free of parabens free of oil and that it's like anti-pollution I've never really owned a foundation like that so I'm gonna be using a primer with this one just because I know my skin and since I get shiny in the T-zone, if this is gonna be a more hydrating moisturizer, I feel like I definitely need to put something to control the shine in this area. So I'm gonna be using my Catrice Prime and Refine Primer. I love this primer for just controlling like the oils in my T-zone and just like smoothing out my pores on my nose. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, I got my foundation in the shade 330 Light Honey. So on one side, I'm gonna be applying it with a beauty sponge. On the other side, I'm gonna be applying it with a brush. So it's definitely like an exact match of my skin, which is really nice. All right, this literally looks just like my skin. That's pretty cool. I'm hoping that this foundation works out because since it's such like a lightweight finish, I can tell and it like blends right in and looks so natural. I feel like this would be the perfect summer foundation when you just want something on your skin to even it out but you don't want to feel like you have a full like face of makeup. You just want something really easy to blend out. So, so far the finish of this, it's definitely more of like a satin finish. I do see a little tiny, tiny bit of a glow but it's definitely not like luminous. So it's definitely a true satin finish. And I'm definitely getting more of a medium coverage with it. I don't know if it's just because I'm applying it with my beauty blender. I mean, the description does say that it's a medium buildable foundation. And I can definitely still see like some capillaries and pigment peeking through, which I'm completely okay with. I personally don't like a foundation 
be too heavy and like I said, I think since it's so lightweight, this would be like a good summer foundation. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. It has like a nice natural glow to it. feels very nice on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy. So I'm gonna apply it on this side using a brush. Start with one pump and then see how much I have to build up when I use a brush. Normally when I use a brush, I don't need nearly as much product. It gives me like the same amount of coverage without using like even like half the amount of product. Oh yeah, this definitely is giving way more coverage. Something about this brush like literally will take the tiniest amount of foundation and just spread it really even over all the skin. Like I said, using literally just like a pea sized amount of product. So I really like the way this foundation is blending. Like it looks really good. My skin looks really like, I feel like smooth with it and velvety. Today I really don't have much of anything planned. I literally just have to like clean up around my house. I have to get some stuff from Target. So maybe I'll take you guys along with me there. I have to pick up package but other than that it's a pretty chill day so I feel like this is like the perfect day to test out a foundation like this because being that it is more of a natural lightweight finish I feel like this is good for just like a kind of errand running kind of day you know it's weird because it's been years since I've used the original Revlon Photo Ready foundation but from what I remember like the finish looks very similar like I remember that one being again a very satin finish it had like a similar consistency where it was very creamy you got coverage but it wasn't like heavy oh I think I like it it's looking good so far I definitely prefer the brush side versus the beauty blender. I didn't even use a full pump with the brush side, whereas with the beauty blender side, I used it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup like I normally would, and then I'll be right back to let you guys know my thoughts on everything. All right, guys, so this is how it looks with the full B. So far, I feel like it definitely looks good on camera. Um, in person, it looks good. I do notice, I don't know if you can see on camera, I feel like it's clinging to certain patches. It's like settling a little bit, so like under my... Another thing I noticed while applying my makeup is it definitely, since it's not a matte finish, it stays tacky. So even once I set it with my powder, it still stayed tacky after that. So when I went to blend out my bronzer, it took me a second and I really had to like bake underneath of my bronzer to make sure my bronzer looks smooth and not patchy. So yeah, it's definitely, some foundations I feel like you, your bronzer and everything on top blends so smooth. Others you kind of have to work with them a little bit more. This one was definitely one of them, but I don't hate it. It definitely still looks okay. Overall, how it's sitting on the skin, I would give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. I do feel like I said, like it's settling in certain areas. It doesn't look super smooth on the skin, but it doesn't look terrible either. So I think the test will be how it wears throughout the day, stays on the day. It does feel pretty lightweight. Like I don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on, but like I said, I think the test will be how it wears throughout the day. If it breaks apart in my T-zone, I do like how fresh it looks. It doesn't look super matte, but let's see how it holds up. For the rest of the day, I don't have anything crazy planned today, so I'm literally just gonna be like in my house cleaning, maybe running a couple errands. But yeah, stay tuned if you wanna see how this foundation holds. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to give you guys a time stamp. So it's currently one o'clock um, right here. You can kinda sh Do you see, it's currently one o'clock. Sorry, I'm like downloading what I just filmed. So yeah, so just to give you guys a timestamp of how long like it wears and stuff, I'll let you guys know the time when I check in so you guys can kind of see like throughout the day how many hours it starts like looking good or starts breaking down. So yeah, stay tuned if you want to see how it wears. Guys, I'm back. Peep Alex in the background washing the dishes. <laughs> I changed sweatshirts because I've just been pretty much like cleaning all day and I just wanted to do a check in. So, so far it's looking good. I feel like it's not, it hasn't like broken apart or anything. It's honestly only been on for two hours, but so far it's looking good. No big complaints. Let's see how much longer it wears. It still feels super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I have a pound of makeup on, which is great. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a couple more hours to see how it holds up. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Literally have like the dryer going, dishes going. Hey guys, so it is currently almost six o'clock. I am still home. 
I am currently right now like going through my makeup, trying to organize it. It is so like unorganized and messy. So I'm just trying to get a handle on this. But the makeup has been on for five hours now. It's still looking really good. I mean, obviously I haven't been doing anything crazy, but I feel like my makeup still looks untouched. And earlier, Alex and I were watching like TV on the couch for a little, and he did have his like head resting on me. And there wasn't much of any transfer. Like you can't really tell that he was touching my face and messing up my makeup. It doesn't feel heavy. I'm not like super shiny anywhere, which is really nice. Part is looking really good. It's still like for some reason is clinging to like certain areas here and on my forehead and under my chin. So that's annoying, but Overall though, like from far away, my makeup still looks good. So by nine o'clock, I'll let you guys know how it is looking. I have to organize all of this. Organize these drawers. They are, well, that one's not too bad, but like my other drawers, like look at this. This is such a disaster. So this is what I will continue to work on for the next couple hours. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, I was trying on a couple different like outfits and stuff that came in the mail. So I had stuff coming off, like on and off, like rubbing on my face and stuff. And my makeup's still here. Like it didn't smudge a lot of times when I do that, like I'll start seeing streaks across my face with my makeup, but you literally can't even tell, so. That's a good sign. Hey guys, it's currently 1017. I just got back from Target and I've officially had this foundation on for nine hours. This is like my third outfit change of the day. I promise it's the same day. I just, I've changed a lot today. As you can see, this is the foundation and it definitely started getting shiny probably around like the ninth, eighth or ninth hour. So I have a lot of shine on my cheeks, a lot of shine on my nose and a little bit of shine on my forehead. Now, I will let you guys know, literally around like the seventh hour, it started like, for some reason it was settling really weird in this area and I went to like blend it out and it literally just started like flaking off. That was super weird, but I feel like throughout the day it definitely held up nice and looked really pretty on my skin. For some reason though, it just wasn't sitting nice on my forehead. I don't know if it's because I need to like prep my forehead better, I don't know what it is but i feel like it's clinging to certain patches there and just like not looking smooth but then on my cheeks and stuff i feel like it looked really smooth and even so i don't know if it's just the foundation i don't know if it's me but i definitely want to play around with it a little bit more i do like this foundation i like how like nice it sits on the skin beside how it's sitting on my forehead for some reason um I think the color selection is nice. I love how lightweight it is. Like I said, I think that's perfect for spring and summer. But I'm not in love with it. But I don't hate it. I'm kind of like, I just want to play with it some more. Like, I think it's pretty. But I want to play with, like, the products and powders and stuff that I use with it. For 8 bucks, I mean, definitely worth a try. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed another, like, all-day wear test of another new drugstore product. Let me guys know if you want to see, let me guys know, <laughs> let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every Wednesday when I do upload. I love and appreciate you guys so, 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 so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.